days to the presidential bout of the general election, it appears the center could no longer hold amongst the aggrieved G5 governors of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and other leaders, who earlier shared their sentiments on the state of the party vis-a-vis -vis their choice of presidential candidate. Although the self-styled leader of the group and governor of River State, Nyeson Wike, had announced different dates when he would announce his choice candidates for the presidential race, he has yet to make any such public announcement. River State Governor Nyeson Wike says the G5 People's Democratic Party governors are no longer disposed to broker peace with the national leadership of the party. Wike explains that contrary to insinuations, the G5 governors remain intact. He says the group's impact will be felt after the 25th of February's presidential election. We came made the comments during a media chat in Port Harcourt. We have said it that not anybody can do about it now. They have they believe that they have won elections, so they don't they don't need them. I told you what I'm not ready to is. sit down again with anybody. That's not you know what you want to interpret. And Wike's ally, Benue State Governor Samuel Autumn, has publicly thrown his weight behind the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi. Autumn made the declaration of his support in Makodi while addressing Labour Party supporters. The governor told the supporters to work for Peter Obi's victory as he is the only candidate with the needed qualities to deliver Nigeria. In this 2022, fashion a new Nigeria. Interesting morning, eight days to elections. Yeah. <clears throat> Interesting times, eight days to elections. At first, um, I think it was just yesterday, Governor Wiki granted his uh, media chats, as it were, and he took out time to expel some of his ideas. And there were some critical questions that were asked, but he couldn't answer them, and he tried to beat around the bush, you know. I uh, was asked questions bordering on why has he not named who he's going to support? He tried to twist that as usual, because this was Governor Wiki that was caught on tape, maybe he forgets, saying that he was going to name who he's going to support in January and put his own paraphernalia behind that person to campaign hard for the person. But yesterday again, he tried to, you know, move around the question without answering it. Also, he was asked all the questions about the interplay of the party. He kept on saying, yes, I'm for the PDP, but I'm not going to support the presidential candidate, that all doors are shut and all of that. Then he kept on saying that the G5 was intact. And a couple of hours after the interview, the first cracks happened. You know, the G5 now reminds me of a boy band, you know, musical boy band, when one of them says, I want to have a solo career. So I think in all of this now, Governor Autumn has decided to have a solo career which there are going to be implications because the PDP is going to come after him. Officially, that's anti-party activity. Governor Wiki Proud to this time had gone to the court to say, please protect me from the PDP's big hammer for anti-party activity. But you see, on the grand scale of things, a lot of people on the streets now are saying that at least we respect a Governor Otom over a Governor Wiki. Because a Governor Otom can come out with his full chest to say where he is. But the Governor Wiki has not been able to do this. He has just Nicodemusly given support to anybody he will give his support to. But this does not exonerate Governor Autumn from anti-party activity. And I'm sure the PDP is seeing this. They used the big stick to whip a couple of people recently, which included Senator uh, Namani, Chimaruke Namani, former governor of Enugu State. And now the stick, I don't know how I many, just eight days to the elections, like you said might just be coming on Governor Autumn next. But it, it behoves on the PDP 
to be able to make their decision. But one thing is certain, like we have constantly said, <clears throat> and I think this wiki and G5 conundrum should be a lesson to other Nigerian politicians, at least for the life of me. If you are going to go on a tirade, have an exit strategy. Because the most dastardly thing you can ever do to yourself is to drive yourself into a cul-de-sac, which the G5 has done now. And other people, other governors in the G5, they've gotten the memo. Because look at the case of Ikbeazu. The same IU that they said they were against. Once their candidate, their governorship candidate died in Abia State, Ikbeazu had to go meet IU to be able to get clarifications to run a new party primary to get a new candidate. So didn't they envisage worst case scenarios when they started on this tirade in the first place? Didn't they envisage it? Didn't they think through it? Secondly, to show the further disintegration, Governor Gwai welcomed Atiku Abaka. A lot of people will argue that, oh, it is part of his duty and responsibility to do that. You know, governor, as any governor comes, anybody comes to campaign, you say you have to welcome them. But this same governor, Gwai, you will not forget, was one of the governors, if not the governor, based on the, based on the feelers we are hearing, that after the first meeting was foiled in the UK by the G5 governors, came back to his state in disagreement of the fact that they were not able to reach a position. So now we have seen the horse race pan out. Governor Ikpiazu has had a need at some point to go back to meet the same PDP they all reneged against. Now Governor Autumn has said, I am with Peter Obi. Mr. Wiki, the leader of the G5, have not been able to make a position. Maybe he too will summon courage from Governor Autumn now to be able to make a position. It has just shown you. And Governor Shehi Makidi has not been speaking in a while because the reality has dawned on him too that he needs to save his own political face in all your states. So this G5 boy band, everybody is now going solo. Reminds you of bands like Westlife. Backstreet Boys and the likes. So the truth has now dawned on them. And that's why other people and political watchers will make the argument that the Yorubas have a saying that Lenyak Malea Bukuloku. What it means is after adulation, then comes reproach and rebuke. And the Yorubas further say that once a parent is petting a child and saying, sorry, sorry, sorry. The next thing the parents start to say is, Wakabuku. Then next is reproach. So they have driven themselves into a place of reproach as this morning. Because all parties in the G5 are not together. I'm sure political historians are taking notice of things like that in our political landscape. But, like they say, 24 hours is a long time in politics. Just maybe the G5 governors, they have something up their sleeve. We might not know. But this action film and drama. Probably will continue, Aya. Let's see. We'll, we'll see the conclusion of the matter. 25th mm. of February is only in eight days, as mm. we keep reminding people. Now, just to say, in terms of um, Governor Autumn and where he stands, because he is running on the, you know, running for Senate on the platform of the PDP. Yesterday, he obtained an ex parte order. Uh, they, they restrained the PDP in a joint suit, joining the INEC from disqualifying him or expelling him from running as a, as a senator. So perhaps that's where the confidence mm. of coming out to speak in support of Mr. Peter Obi came from, the fact that he has already you know, gotten that order from uh, um, the Ebenue High Court. But uh, um, just talking about the PDP as well and what's going on with the G5 governors, I believe that the chat we had earlier this week with Dr. Daniel Bwala and um, Are Del Momodu gave us an indication as to where they stood initially when we would usually ask spokespeople of the PDP, they would talk about reconciliation attempts. They would say, oh, we're going to work together. We're united. But you saw the way they spoke clearly against Governor Nyeson Wiki. And, you know, I mean, it was really about him, you know, in both interviews. So perhaps that was, a, an, that was an indication already before Governor Wiki gave this media chat that all is not well and all the efforts and attempts at a, you know, at a, at a truce or a reconciliation had fallen apart. The table had 
completely broken down, completely mm. shattered. So all communication lines um, gone, and now the swords have been sheathed. sheathed. Now, just to talk, uh, also ask um, Governor Wiki the same questions they're asking. A number of people have been saying. He keeps talking about this mysterious candidate that he's supporting. In fact, in that media chat, he said that he had informed the River State people who to vote for and that on the 25th of February, they were going to vote for the individual. The first thing I want to find out is who are these reverse people that he has said he has spoken to? Mm. And what was the mode of communication? Because I don't know how it is that you have reached your people without a chat like this or an open forum, but saying that, um, you know, he has done that. Governor uh, Samuel Autumn, in supporting Mr. Peter Obi, asked his cabinet members to be present at that town hall meeting. And he asked the cabinet members to support Mr. Peter Obi. So, like you mentioned, he's very clear. He's come out, he's not hiding anything, he's not um, sitting on the fence or, you know, hiding behind the cloak. He's saying, this is who I'm supporting. In, the, in, in, in terms of anti-party activities, of course, we're not expecting the PDP to keep quiet. I'm looking forward to a statement from them. This just happened yesterday. So, a statement from them today and in in the next few days. But something he said very instructive, Rufai, and perhaps this is a game changer, I'll begin into what we're going to see from this election going forward for Nigerian politics. Is this going to be the modus operandi whereby people will no longer vote along party lines, but for the candidate? He said that he's still a member of the PDP. He's not taking that away, but he is not voting for their presidential candidate. And that people should not vote for, you know, not, not just look at the party in terms of voting, but the individuals. We may, recall that on the ballot paper, it's the party logo that is going to be on there. So I don't know how this is going to work because we've seen this, and he's not the first person to do this. We've talked about Governor Wiki. We've talked about um, Dr. Chimaroke Namani. A number of people are coming out to say that we're not voting along party lines, we're voting along you know, in terms of individuals. But these, this, this, like we mentioned, this, um, this is, this, these are interesting times. This is, you know, the, it, it's a few more days to go. We're still expecting to get news like this. We're still expecting to see announcements. In fact, the PDP and, you know, and, and the APC have said, oh, watch out. We're about to unleash some things. Things are going to happen. And Nigerians are eagerly waiting. But it makes the, the political architecture of mm -hmm. Nigeria a lot more interesting. And the fact that, like Governor um, um, Samuel Autumn said, we're not just voting just because of the party. Now it's about competence. Mm -hmm. Who is best to unite Nigeria at this time? Who can deal with insecurity? In his own opinion, he feels it is Mr. Peter Obi of the Labour Party. The drama, the drama continues, the drama unfolds. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure we'll talk, take this further during you know, the newspaper review and, of course, during trending as well.